Hello, Jeff here. Um, today we're going to be replacing the uh, flat belt on this 1952 Heavy 10 South Bend lathe that I've been putting back together forever. Um, the original belt was a leather belt, like this belt, um, and I think the original original belt was a one inch belt. This is inch and a quarter, um, but it has that zipper kind of uh, end on it. This one's cut. Um, it uh, and goes around and goes clack, 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 clack. Um, newer belts are made out of um, nylon and rubber. Um, if you're a purist and you have to have the original belt, you can still buy them. Um, uh, from the same place I bought this belt, um, which is Albino Machining and Custom Flat Belts. Uh, Flatbeltsanysize.com. Uh, they were very helpful. I spoke to Deb in the office. She took my order, answered my questions. Um, depending on the size of the belt, there are various prices. The, this size belt was about $70 with shipping. Um, I think well worth it, not making my own belt, so I think uh, good deal. Uh, comes with instructions, comes with glue. Here are the instructions it comes with. Um, doesn't appear to be rocket science, but of course, uh, I guess until you actually do it, you don't know how difficult it's going to be. Um, here are the two uh, tiny glues that come with it. One says nylon, one says rubber. The first thing uh, that you have to do is figure out um, the size of the belt, and I think the best way to do that is to use a dressmaker's tape. Go around the pulleys, uh, set the um, set the adjustment. If you have an adjustment, all the way up. Set it all the way down. I took some very close to the all the way up position, so I'd have room to to uh, to grow um, if it stretches. I don't know if it does or not. But. Uh, then you have to figure out a way to clamp it. So I believe that they sell all kinds of clamping jigs. Um, I didn't have any of those, so I made my own. Um, I started out with a block of wood and spent five minutes on a table saw and cut a tiny uh, uh, dado in the, in, the, uh, in the block of wood just to kind of keep it straight. Um, I don't know that it's really necessary. I guess it could be crooked, um, but for the five minutes that it took, I figured it was worth it. Uh, I then drilled a couple holes and made this clamp with scrap metal. So for half an hour I now have something that will hold it in place so when I'm gluing, which seems to be a tedious process or a time-sensitive process, um, at least I'm not having the belt fall back down, have to push it back up and have uh, stuff all over the glue. Um, I couldn't figure out a way to kind of keep it open so I came up with a popsicle stick. Put the popsicle stick in there that will open it up. I don't know, can you zoom in? Mm -hmm. The reason you need two glues is because the belt is, is a multi-layer construction. So there's a nylon inner section and a, uh, a rubber outer portion. Um, so when they uh, cut it, they skive it so that it's uh, tapered. So when you put the two together, it makes a belt that's all one thickness. Um, and the one glue goes on the black portion here, and the other glue goes on the blue portion. And then... Um, Clamp it in place. The instructions say, carefully bring the belts together, check the alignment and the colors mate with one another. Apply a clamp across the joint with not excessive pressure. Um, that would push the belt ends out of alignment. So I guess not excessive pressure is a subjective <laughs> measurement. It's not like a torque wrench. Um, who knows what that means, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that not excessive pressure is the amount of pressure exerted by one uh, cheap clamp and a uh, scrap piece of aluminum that I will place upon there and clamp in place when the time comes. Hopefully that's, uh, that's going to work. Um, the other thing you have to do is you have to clean the ends with isopropyl alcohol um, and a non, I assume a non uh, linting Lined up. I don't know how lined up it has to be. I hardly feel any difference between the two. It looks like it's lining up in the spot where it was cut. Again, I don't know how critical it is, but you're going to see. Oh, the other thing that's important is uh, how the how the skiving goes. Um, it's exactly the opposite of the way that I would have done it. The 
lathe normally rotates this way. So um, I would have put the sky so that it uh, is trailing as it goes around. Um, but if you look at the instructions here, uh, right there you'll notice it says pulley side, and you'll notice the thin part of the skive actually goes into the pulley as it's going around when it's running that way. Um, I'm guessing that uh, Al from Custom Belts has done thousands of belts, and this is my first belt, so I'm going to defer to uh, his expertise there. All right, so um, without further ado, I guess we will uh, clamp this. I guess the, the good news is uh, it's only $70 if you screw it up. It's not a million dollars. I guess it would be better if it was $5, but uh, we'll see. So the instructions say to do the nylon portion first, non-blue areas. That would be the black areas. Uh, then the rubber cement goes on the blue areas. Wait a couple minutes, put it together, and it should say hope for the best, but it doesn't. So, there's the nylon portion, which hopefully get enough on there. Set that aside. Just the rubber cement portion. This is a little easier. This is just contact cement, I'm sure. Yep, smells like contact cement. Just like you use on a countertop. In there. I'm gonna wait for two minutes and I'll be okay. So that's uh, two minutes. So we're gonna take the popsicle stick out and put it on. Looks like it's. Looking pretty good. Yep. Make sure it's still in the dado, which it looks like it is. On there. Put pressure on there. And hopefully, 24 hours from now. Okay, so we're back today, and it's been 24 hours. Let's see how we did. It's off. It's off.
Okay. Pretty close. Maybe a little bit off on the side. I think that's pretty good. It's okay, just gotta adjust the motor. Back in a minute. So that's on. It's tight. Let's give it a shot. We are 1409, 1408, that's about perfect. So, success. I think I have to move it over a little bit to the left, down below, but uh, no clanging. 